let's see how to use the checkbox in Excel. It is under developer as well. So now we have some kind of created this particular study tracker for you to study here some of the functions you want to study in uh, Excel. If I go ahead and select this right now, you can see we don't have that particular thumbs up and the remark right here, we have nothing like well done. So I'm gonna show you how to actually combine this with what with formulas and create something just awesome as this. And as well, when you have some situation, you can actually think of how to implement it in your own personal project. So are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, now, first of all, what we're going to do, you remember that thing we did that time? I'm gonna copy this part right here. I'm gonna control C to have it copied. I want to go right here and actually make sure I right click on it. And what I want is actually go to paste pressure. And now it's a column width for the first time. That is beautiful. Now, aside that, I'm gonna actually right click again, go ahead and paste the formatting right for me. Now I've just gotten the formatting alone, but what I want to take away right now is this particular part right here. I don't want it. I'm going to deselect it. Then we can do that ourselves. I'm going to go right here to clear rule from the selected. So now we have something just like this. Next is for me to copy the header right here. I'm going to paste it down. Now exactly this is what we want to have. Okay, let's see how it works out. Now for the what you need is go to the developer right here and open this insert and now you're going to see this particular you know check box form control click on it and come right here and drop it down so this is what you're going to have so we, we don't want to have any text inside it so what we're going to do right now is to move this text away and i'm going to actually have to make sure i make it a little bit smaller just like this so once we have the shape we want we can have it right here and that we can go ahead and Ctrl C to Ctrl V and have it duplicated and actually make sure we arrange it. As you can see, we don't have equal alignment. So what can we do to have it? So should we start, start selecting, you know, them one after the other? I believe no, it's not gonna work that way. I'm gonna select it. Uh, let me just go to this particular, go to home and come to select, uh, find and select right here. And you're going to see this particular select objects, click on it and actually select this and it selects all the objects for you. So go to shape and um, from shape, you can go to what, go to align and you want to align this left and you have the equal alignment for each and every one of them. And uh, you have other ones to play with, you know, distribute horizontally and you can play around with the distribute vertically and see. This is what you're gonna have. So I'm gonna control Z because this is how I want it to be. I just want to show you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the escape key to escape that particular select. It's gone. Now this is what we have. Okay, now that we have this right here, we have to some kind of link each one of them. So right click on this, go to form control. And now what we can do is that if you want to actually keep any of them checked, no. This has to do with what I have some kind of like finished based on the f topics I have right here. I don't want to keep any one of them checked. So I'm going to actually use the unchecked one. Then we have to link this cell. If we want to have 3D on it, so we can click on the 3D and go right here and link this cell right here. And I can go ahead and actually say, okay. So beautiful. Now, if you look at it right now, it's different than this one we have right here because this is actually, you know, with 3D. So this is what we have. We have true right here. Uh, if I click on this right now, because it is not linked anywhere, there is no way we can actually have anything back. So by right clicking, go to form control, quickly click right here and use the 3D as well to get the shade. I'm gonna actually have to click right here. Come right here and actually make sure you do this and you have this. So you can see the clear difference between the 3D and the non 3D right here. So for you to have the 3D, if it's remembered, all you have to go through is actually click on this particular 3D shading right here and you're gonna have something just like this. I think I actually love this one more. So now you can see what we have right here. Okay, now let us have our weekdays and you know what it is. We want to actually use the one with autofill. So we uh, that is gonna be Monday. So we're gonna fill it all the way down for us when we actually, you know, drag it down this way now we have it so we don't have to type them all over again okay let's say we want to some kind of still use this particular topics right here that we want to cover 
every single time and when we are done covering any topic we want to check it so go right here and use the value curves now for the feedback right here this is where it is getting much more interesting okay now for the feedback i want to come right here now i'm gonna say feedback feedback mog so feedback emoji so now for you to get your feedback emoji uh press the you know the windows icon on your keyboard and the what and the semicolon like this you're gonna have this particular pop-up so can you see this right now sorry for that so in case you don't remember what to press all you need to do i'm gonna actually you know get it off so go with your window icon like the window icon on your pc just click on it and the semicolon right here will definitely give you that so now you can actually see different types of you know uh, emojis you have right here if you want to use smile love you know and you know of it so we're gonna actually go with this particular thumbs up right here so just double click on it you're gonna have it inside the, inserted so twice i'm gonna take one off it if i hit my enter key right now this is what i have so now that we've gotten this right here let's see what we're gonna do i'm gonna actually zoom this way okay fine it is time for me to customize this so i'm gonna use my if function to actually do this i'm gonna say if this particular cell right here is equal to true so remember i told you excel actually understand what true is all about so you don't have to put that in double quotation so leave it that way then comma now if this evaluates true what do you want me to return go ahead and give me this particular thumbs up right here and if it is not what should i do just give me nothing go ahead and close it so remember if i just actually you know uh execute this right now and try to copy it down it's not going to work because we have to make this particular cell absolute so now come right here and you know your f4 key then makes it absolute then go ahead and hit your enter key and now you have the thumbs up right here if i go ahead and actually copy it down this is what it is so we have four thumbs up because we have four you know of them checked if i uncheck them right now let's see what we're gonna have i'm gonna check this and check it and check this and check this so because we've not previously checked this one we don't see nothing right here so we're gonna check them right now i'm gonna actually uncheck them and this is what it is that is how we've done that right okay now let's see on this remark right here we have well done how did we go about this so i'm going to select the range where i want to have this because i just want to actually make sure it copies there automatically when i hit my control enter key so i'm going to actually follow the same step i'm going to say if this particular one right here is equal to true so if it is equal to true i want you to actually just tell me oh well then well then so i'm gonna have this exclamation mark right here i'm gonna close it and if it is not what i want to just give me is nothing make that place empty and if i hold my control enter right now have them in every part of it so if i just go ahead and select this you can see what it is that i have right here it gives me a thumbs up and it tells me well done so now where is this particular color coming from that is where we have to go to the conditional formatting to have this done so how do we do this we have to go ahead and check it out and see how to do this okay i think previously we've done something related to this but we have not actually talked about you know conditional formatting generally so we're gonna have to cover that so yeah i'm gonna go to conditional formatting so go right here so check my conditional formatting sec uh, section and you'll see what i've done right there I'm gonna go to you know new rule. So from new rule, I'm gonna actually have to use formula to determine what I want. So right here, this is where we have to go through. I'm gonna say if this particular cell right here, so I have to remove this. You know what I'm trying to remove. So lock in the column here for the row. We have to free the row to copy down. That is what you need to do. So if it is equal to, so because Excel does not understand well done with an excl exclamation mark right now we have to use this particular double quotation to actually get that done so i'm going to type in well done right here now well done this is what it is so make sure whatever you type in here corresponds to what you have in this cell so for you not to make any mistake you can copy from the cell and place it right here 
that will definitely work like magic okay now if this is what we have in this particular cell down to the next one right here then go for the formatting and i want to come right here for the font i want to bold and uh, i want it to be on white then for the fill color i just want to use something different this time around i want to use something like this um maybe this is a little bit you now too you know bright for me can go for just go back right here go to format colors and i can actually bring it down a little bit to make it darker something like this would be cool then if i go ahead and hit my ok right now so click on ok i see nothing because it is not what we are looking forward to seeing so now can you see that right now so if i go ahead and check this right so you can see what it is so now what we can do right now to make it you know very awesome is to some kind of hidden this one right here so click on home and go ahead and put it on white it's gonna blend with the background and i'm gonna come right here i'm gonna leave this one if i want to actually have this one hidden right now we have to touch the background you know and a bit so it has to some kind of rhyme with the background it will look like something is actually right there so nobody can know where this particular emoji is coming from right now so beautiful we have actually seen how to insert it how to make it 3d and how to use if you know our uh, condition to actually condition what we want so every single time we complete a particular you know topic like vlookup it's been completed on monday so we come and check it and it tells us thumbs up and well done so now we've just played with this and see how it works you can actually think about how to implement it on your own personal project but don't worry we are still going to do some projects together you know as we keep going